I went to Bel Air High School. I went to A. Leaf Hastings High School in Houston, Texas. I went to Dulles High School. Safair High School. I went to Bel Air High School. Do not ask me what year. <laughs> and then, because of several interesting events, I ended up going my senior year to a private school, which was much smaller and kind of for fucked up kids. Oh, I'm sorry. I went to Hamilton High School. To Bonanza High School in Las Vegas, Nevada. I went to high school at Laporte High School in Texas, near the petrochemical industry center point of the United States. Wow, what was I like in high school? I was really awkward in high school. I, I didn't know really where I fit. I didn't really belong to any particular clique. I was pretty much like hanging out in between everybody. Kind of that chick that went from one group to another. I was fabulous. I had a lot of friends, but I didn't have any really close friends because I was friends with everybody. Like you had the kickers, which were the cowboys and the cowgirls. I was a theater nerd, as I'm sure a lot of other gals here have said. I was a big dork. People who wore the jeans that separate your butt and lift. I was a dork. Girls' butt looked like pears. Unlike how it was like now, very loud, and I like to dance, and I like to act. I was kind of shy. I wasn't uh, a pothead. <laughs> and um, stuff like that. I was really good at theater. I, I discovered I was good at theater, I'm not so good at sports. I mean, I had to play sports the whole time I was there because of my athletic bill. So instead of tripping over things, it was, you know, five, six, seven, eight, jazz hands. I was a dork, but in a cool way. Like, I wasn't any particular, I wasn't in a particular group of kids. I had cheerleader friends, I had jock friends, I had surfer friends, but I did hang with the kind of weirdo, like, you know, punk crowd, <laughs> go figure. You know, being a redhead, you never want to be a redhead because nobody else had red hair. I wanted to be blonde. Very good girl. Those are my hair. I wore pink lipstick and blue eyeliner, which does not fare well for redheads, but that's what I did. Yeah, it was not pretty. <laughs> I went into drill team my sophomore year, and then it was the summer between my sophomore and junior year I started dating my first punk rock boyfriend. And from that point on, it was black hair, mohawks, <laughs> bad attitude, a <laughs> few other things. I went through a phase where I, you know, didn't wash my hair a lot. I was really more into, like, dramatic types of things. Because I wanted it to, you know, be natural and all that. So I was in the drama club as an actress. I was that weird girl that kind of just came up to your lunch table and sat next to you and started talking whether you liked it or not. So that was me. <laughs> I don't know. Behoimi. I play Behoimi. Hibiki. Um, Yizuka Karesi. Miss Igara Igarashi. Yuma and Yuna in Pony Pony. I do play Tome the Jock. I play the little, the little klutzy girl who trips on things a lot. In Pony Pony, I play Sayaka, number six. She is the very, 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 very sweet girl with the big, 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 big blue hair. Um, and she's been a blast. She's just a little dingy. Very, very, very sweet girl, very good intentions, but just a little on the kind of dingy slow side. And that's exactly what I like to play. I play media. She thinks she's a superhero and that she's really cool and smart, but bless her heart, she's not so much. <laughs> I play Zula. I play Akane, I play the drama queen. Zula is like a strong African-American character, but, but she, 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 she has like a, like a kind of a kid in play kind of like haircut, but not as tall as him. And she doesn't have a lot of lines. It was really hard to play this part because my voice is so light and Steven like, He's an awesome director, by the way. He he fought with me, but I say more like coaching to make me have to get down into like a basier register. I am a lot like my character. Um, I tend to uh, jump over the dinghy line where she kind of walks it. Um, she's pretty gullible, and I know I'm very gullible. Uh, the only thing we don't have in common is the blue of the hair. My hair is very big, not blue, but uh, yeah, I would say we have a lot in common. And you know, she has to deal with Himeko, and I have to deal with Brittany, so pretty much the same thing. Um, oh, well, media is kind of 
she's not really mean to anyone, even though they're mean to her. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'm like her in that way. I was not a jock. I, I'm, I'm scared of balls. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if I should answer that. She's a little drunk and obnoxious. Maybe. I'm scared that, you know, kickball, <laughs> baseball, volleyball, I'm gonna get hit in the face. <laughs> I don't think I was cool, but I wasn't as ditzy klutzy as my character in the show. Well, she's a lot ditzier, and I can I can get into that. Um, I have that tendency. Of course I can relate. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. I think um, she, she has a lot more going on underneath than you can see. Love Hibiki. She's as goofy as me. She's my, I wish I was, I wish I got to be her every day. <laughs> Cause my, the goofiest part of me is so Hibiki. Hey, what's up? Hey, let's do this. <laughs> She's a go get him girl. Love her. Big uh, dork. Like me? Of course. Um, yes, because she seems a little uh, out there and wild and um, I think that's what I am. She doesn't seem afraid to take too many chances. Sure, I think sometimes. Yeah. I would probably say I'm a mix of both. <laughs> I was. I think I was, to an extent. But I'm not the slut. Drama was the only thing I was ever naturally good at. It just clicked. I had the outgoing spirit of the slutty character, and then at times I could be shy too, so I think I've, I'm a mix. Equal balance. I got my first uh, offer for a, a drama scholarship which was a miracle of God because I was not a smarty. I was not gonna get a scholarship to college. Um, and it was just like, oh, this whole new world is like opening up. They might, I might get to go to college on a theater scholarship, are you kidding me? And um, we're on the bus on the way back and the whole way back I'm listening to this dude I actually had a crush on for a while who was in the crew and all these people in the back talking about me and talking about how Oh, I thought I was all this and yickety yak and boo and I really wasn't and I only got this because my mom worked there and blah, 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 blah. And I just got madder and madder and and I'm crying. I'm sitting there and by the time we made it back, which is, it was only like a 40 minute ride, I got off the bus and either, either Sandra Lingefeld or Tina Summers or somebody was like, Lucy, honey, what is wrong? And I was like, I am going to be an actress for a living. And I'm going to leave this town and I'm going to do it! <laughs> I walked out 